I thought, the only way I can follow Chloe, who's this little, cute little girl, right? She's adorable. How am I going to follow that? I'm this guy that kind of, you know, runs around a lot with a cape, right? <laughs> You're going to cheer for the guy with the cape, OK? Somebody said, nobody's dressed as their superhero. I'm here to prove you wrong. I came dressed as mine. So if I can get the house lights up just a little bit, look at this. I've got power. Thank you very much. If you're like me, your favorite superhero is Batman. Raise your hand if your favorite superhero is Batman. Raise him up. There we go. Excellent. He's got a cape. What more do you need, right? What I like best about Batman is how he got his start. How did he start fighting crime, saving lives, and making a difference? I think Batman helped shape me with my future career as a firefighter. We get to make a difference, maybe save some lives, and like Batman, we have some pretty cool gadgets. But again, how did he get his start? How did he go from this guy in Gotham to making a difference? He didn't fly here from Krypton. He didn't have any superpowers. He doesn't have a family member in the business to take over for. He was just a guy in Gotham who got fed up with the violence and decided to stand up and make a difference. He went from bystander to Batman. We all have bystanders in our lives. In my line of work, these are the people calling 911 when there's a fire or giving first aid before the ambulance arrives. For Batman, we have Commissioner Gordon signaling the bat signal, telling Batman someone's in trouble. Send help. Without the bat signal, Batman would have to depend on himself to fight all the crime he saw. What about everyone else in Gotham who needed him? Now that you agree that Batman is one pretty cool superhero, and firefighters are pretty cool too, right? There we go. No. That Batman is a pretty cool guy, we can also agree that active bystanders are just as important. In fact, they're so important, we actually have a field of study that looks into the action or lack of action of bystanders. Named for Kitty Genovese, a woman from New York who was returning to her apartment one evening when she was attacked by a serial murderer and rapist. The attack lasted over half an hour and was witnessed or heard by 38 different individuals. In the end, Kitty lost her life to the attack. And how many people do you think called 911? One person. One of the 38 people that witnessed the attack for over half an hour called 911, called for help, stood up and said, I'm going to do something. Genevieve syndrome tells us that the more bystanders that are present, the less likely anyone is to do anything. It's the mentality that somebody else is going to do it. I don't have to worry about it. Put yourself in your position when you're in class and your teacher assigns a group project, right? Everybody's like, oh, shoot, <laughs> right? Everybody's got a great idea. We're all going to get this done. We're going to get an A. But how hard is it to get anybody to do anything, right? Everybody's like, oh, somebody else will do it. They got this. I'm going to sit in the back, right? All the people sitting in the back are up there like, hey, they got that down there. We're good, right? It's that mentality that somebody else is going to do it, so I don't have to. So I ask you, where are the active bystanders? Where are the people standing up to make a difference? Where are the Commissioner Gordons? Let me give you some numbers. 40% of students say that bullying is a serious problem at their school. 33% of students say that they have been bullied, with 10% of them saying that it happened daily. Of the 4,400 teenage suicides that occur every year in the United States, one half is related to bullying. So I, ask, so I ask you again, where are the active bystanders? Where are those people standing up and saying, this ends today? Where are the Commissioner Gordons? I ask you, and I have a feeling there's a few of you out there today, if you've ever had the opportunity to stand up, to say no to a bully, I want you to stand up right now. Stand up. <laughs> For those of you sitting, I want you to look at those standing around you. These are the Commissioner Gordons. If you would look at them and assist them, stand up and have their back, I want you to stand up now and tell them, I have your back.
While you're standing, I want you to think of something. The number one reason, stay standing. Don't sit down, you can't sit down. This is active participation. <laughs> While you're standing, I want you to think about something. The number one reason we don't stand up when someone's being bullied, the reason we don't get involved is because we feel that we are going to become the target. As you look out amongst your peers, do you think one bully's got anything on all of us? We're superheroes, right? We have capes, okay? Look out amongst yourselves. As you're standing, you're poised for success. I have a couple more things I want you to do. If you will be an active bystander, if you will stand up and pick up a piece of litter when you see it on the ground, or help a fellow classmate pick up a book, I want you to link an arm with the person standing next to you. If you're willing to be an active bystander, to help a friend who's struggling in class, or to play a game with a younger sibling, I want you to link an arm with the person standing next to you. If you will stand as an active bystander and help a friend in need, end a rumor, or sit with someone you don't even know, I want you to link arms with the people standing next to you. As you stand together, united, the opportunity before us lies and why are we going to act? What's going to be our call to duty? Batman has the bat signal. We as firefighters have sirens, OK? And those are pretty cool, let me tell you what, OK? <laughs> we have to figure out what our signal is going to be. What's going to cause us to stand up and act? I'm going to leave you with one more thing that I want you to do. If you will take the pledge today, if you will commit to yourself to stand as an active bystander, to stand and make a difference for someone else in your community, I want you to start clapping your hands.